All right, um, here's something I'm gonna show you. It's called drop D tuning. Uh, a lot of people use it. Um, I remember when I was a kid and I listened to a Neil Young song. He's the first person um, I heard use it on Cinnamon Girl. Now everybody uses it. They use drop D, drop C, there's all kinds of drop tunings. That We'll talk about those as well in the future. Um, Van Halen's first four album and Jimi Hendrix tuned in a flat situation where they tuned every string just a half step flat. So um, we'll talk about all of those tunings. Uh, but for today, we're gonna talk about the uh, drop D tuning, okay? And so let's go ahead and get started. Now I have this guitar tuned and just a regular tuning. What we're gonna do to get our drop D tuning is we're gonna take our, our bottom string here and we're gonna tune it down to a D. Now a good way to get started with that is you can just hit your D note here, which is your fourth string, and then hit your, your big string. Okay, now I'm gonna, I have my smart tuner here, and so I'm gonna double check to make sure, you know, just for accuracy's sake, to make sure I'm right on the money. Okay, we're looking pretty good. So now, you have the benefit of, by doing this, is now you can hold a D chord, and it sounds huge. A lot of bands do this. This is, this is really a great uh, technique. Now, um, another cool chord to use with this is a D2 chord. And what you do is you lift off uh, your uh, second finger. Okay, now to get that really chunky kind of sound, you mute it with your palm here. See? All right, now. This, what bands do in this kind of tuning is you're now able to hold, hold your bar chords or the three uh, note five chords with one finger. Okay, so let's look at that. Okay, so here's your D. If you just hit these bottom three strings, that's a, a D5, piece of cake. Now you take your first finger and put it on the third fret to get your third tonality of the D uh, scale. And there's your fourth tonality fifth tonality is here. So how you do that is you first you play it open and then you put your first finger here to get your third uh, minor third power chord. There's your fourth tone. So I went open, third fret, fifth fret. Now slide up to your seventh fret for your fifth tone right there. And uh, then you slide up here for your seventh tone, and then D. So what we did is we did a, a the rock blues scale, but just as chords, we went like this. Okay, a great songwriting tool, everybody use it. How I just did that, that was just a basic, I just hit the bottom D, and uh, I went to the third tone, and the uh, uh, fourth tone, and I just went. hitting your D like that. Um, now, it's also a great way if you hold your D like this, a lot of people go. And see, that's another cool thing because you could do that by, you hold your D like you normally would and then take this finger from, that we're formulating a D2 and you take this finger and go. And, by, and you can still hold this down. A lot of bands do stuff like this. And that's achieved by, I'm pulling off on the uh, string number four, third fret to open, and I'm going string five, third fret to open, and I'm going string six, third fret to open. Now you can also use it as a hammer on, you can go. So there you go, so what we did, we talked about drop D tuning, we talked about our five chords, going up to D here, and then other stuff you can do, you go. All right, so there it is. There's your drop D tuning, a lot of fun. Uh, great for songwriting techniques. It's, it's, I use it all the time. So there it is. Uh, practice this one and uh, subscribe to our channel. Free videos every week. Have a great day.